In this video, we are going to discuss about the NumPy arrays in Python. NumPy is a Python package that stands for numerical Python. It is the core library for scientific computing which contains a powerful n-dimensional array object. It contains n-dimensional array objects. Now where is NumPy used? Python NumPy array provide tools for integrating C, C++ etc. It is useful in linear algebra. random number capability etc. NumPy can be also used as an efficient multidimensional container for generic data also. So it can be used for storing generic data. Now what is exactly this Python NumPy array? So this Python NumPy array is actually a powerful n-dimensional array object which is in the form of rows and columns. And we can initialize Python NumPy arrays from nested Python list to assess the elements. In order to perform these NumPy operation, now next question which can arise is that how can we install NumPy. So for installation, you have to simply write pip install numpy. All the packages in this particular numpy in the command prompt or your navigator you can write and installation will be complete. And then for starting you have to write in your IDE or Jupyter Notebook or whichever platform you are using you can simply write import numpy as NP. You can name this anything according to your wish. There is no need to write NP. You can write N also, but you have to use this particular N as a variable or an object when you call the other methods which are there in this NumPy module. So this is a very basic about NumPy. And next we are going to discuss or you might have a question that when we have list, why is the need for NumPy? So we use Python NumPy array instead of list because of these following reasons that it requires less memory. Secondly, it is fast and it is useful for convenient scientific calculation and it has more capability than the list. So that is why we used Python NumPy instead of list. Lists are also having their limited features but for large calculations and scientific calculations we use NumPy arrays are uh, NumPy arrays in Python. Now let us switch to how can we create a NumPy array and how can we perform several other operations. So for that we have provided here a tutorial also in our website and the link will be given in the description of the video. So this is the basic introduction which we have already discussed and next is array. So an array or a NumPy array is a grid of values of same type and it is indexed by a tuple of non-negative integers. The number of dimension is the rank of the particular array and the shape of the array is the tuple of integers given. That means if you print the shape then it is going to print you the exact how many tuple of integers are given then the size along which each dimension. So firstly we need to create a NumPy array and now let us create a NumPy array. Here you can see that firstly import is done and then a NumPy array is created and elements are entered as 1, 2, 3. This is of rank 1 because it is one dimensional only so this is having rank 1. So we are going to firstly create an array. So let us firstly import NumPy as NY A is the array which we are creating here. So np dot array and as we are giving multiple values so we are using square brackets and 1, 2, 3. Next firstly we need to print the type.
next we need to print the type so we are printing the type of a and then we are going to print the a as i execute this particular cell here you can see that it is printing me that the class is numpy and d array that is n dimensional array and it is printing me the elements which have been given here now how can i assess the elements that is particular elements how can i do that for that simply as we do in list there is also the same function we have to write here print a of zeroth index so it is going to print here one you can change the index here also if you want to print a of second index then it is going to print three so this is all about assessing the array elements next we have how can we change a particular element so for changing you have to simply write the index and then specify the value for example at the second place i want to change the element to 8 and then i am printing the value of a so here you can see earlier it was 1 2 3 and now it is 1 2 8 next we have two rank array that means it is having rows as well as columns so how can i do that i am here initializing another variable b that is creating a numpy array and here i am giving the values firstly one two three and next i am giving the value as four five six so this is obviously two dimensional and then i am going to print the b and then i am going to use the shape function print shape of b and then i am going to use the shape function so for that we write like this print b dot shape so as I execute this particular cell here you can see that it is displaying a two dimensional array and it is given here in two square brackets it's enclosed in two square brackets and it is printing here that it is having two rows and three columns so shape tells us the that how many particular elements are there in that how many rows are there and how many columns are there that is denoted with the help of shape to see the indexing that how array indexing is done and for that we'll create a following two rank array with the shape three comma four that means three rows and four columns and then we're going to print it we're going to print the shape of that array also and then we are going to see the array indexing the how it is done so firstly for that we have to import numpy as np Next, we have to create an array. So that is a equals to np dot array. And here I'm going to write firstly for 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next, I will write for 5, 6, 7, and 8. Similarly, I will write as I want three rows and four columns. So this will be my last row. So that is 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this is how we have created a particular array. And you are going to print this A. And now it's slicing in the array. How can I do that? So firstly, I'm going to print the shape. So that is A dot shape. Shape function is used. And next what we are going to do is in B we are going to store A one column comma two column. And next we are going to print this B also. Now as I execute this particular set, here you can see that firstly a n dimensional array and the dimension is that three rows and four columns is printed and next what it is done that shape is also printed that is having three rows and four columns now we are assessing the elements or indexing the particular elements which are there in array and it is printing us 7 8 and 11 12 that means here you can see that this particular array you see 
so this these are the elements which we entered 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and this is the index particularly 0 1 2 and 0 1 2 3 for columns and this is for rows now the first condition which we have given is one colon and we left it blank so starting with this row one and here you can see that it takes seven and eight and next we have given for two and then left it back so it takes from this first row and the second column so the entries are seven eight here and here it is eleven and twelve so these four elements it attracts and prints of this element that 7 8 and 11 12 that is what we have seen in the output also that it prints 7 8 and 11 12 by checking this particular indexing which you have given and then print those b's next you can also uh, rank the first view and the second view of row also which is created and then print the row shape and the column shape also so how can i do that let's see Next, we are going to see several mathematical operations which we can apply on NumPy array. So, we will create two array firstly and then we will print this addition, multiplication, subtraction, division and also we can print the square of that one array with the other or the elements of the square of an array. So, let us do that and see how it is done. So, firstly, we have to create an array x and np dot array. and it is a two dimensional array so I am giving here one and two as first elements and next I am giving three comma four so this is one array and another is y five comma six and 7 comma 8 so these are the two arrays which we have created and uh, firstly what I'm going to do I'm going to print X next I'm going to print Y and then I want to print the summation of x plus y so now execute this particular cell you can see that a is having 1 2 3 4 y another array that is having 5 6 7 8 and summation of that the as matrix summation is done it is done here that is 6 8 10 and 4 plus 8 that is 12 similarly here you can also print so let me comment these two statements because we know the array what it will be printed and in place of summation now i replace it with minus when i execute the cell you can see that minus values are given when subtraction is done that is the next array is subtracted with the y array so 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 2 minus 6 that is also minus 4 3 minus 7 is equals to minus 4 and 4 minus 8 is also minus 4 next we are going to check for the multiplication so this is the multiplication of the array elements similarly we can do the division also so this is the result of the division and lastly we want to check for np dot square so let us do that also here you can write np dot square root of the elements which are there in x array and when you execute that it returns you the square root of those elements also which are there in the x array next you can also check the sum of array particularly that you have an np array and you want to check the sum of only x so how can you do that here what you have to write just simply in this print statement you can write np dot sum and pass the parameter x when you do that you get a return sum that is 10 that is individual sum of an array that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so that turns out to be 7 plus 3 that is 10 now you can also print according to the axis that if you want to print the sum of each axis then how can you do that so you have to simply mention here the axis which you want to print sum so after x you can write here axis equals to 0 
when you do that you see here there is 4 and 6 that means x sum is given so along the x axis 3 plus 1 that is 4 and 4 plus 2 turns out to be 6 and if you write the same statement again for np dot sum x comma x is equals to 1 then it is going to print 3 and 7 that means now column sum is giving you that is 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7 you can also print the transpose of a particular matrix and of this array so how can you do that print x dot capital T when you do that here you can see the columns and rows are interchanged that is all about transport and by the end of this video we have studied about the numpy array numpy array is actually a multi-dimensional n-dimensional group of arrays and matrices as well as we have studied about the function that can be performed for advanced mathematical and statics operation on the objects